These are the eyes of 44-year-old Julie Isom of Sesser. She picked out the perfect color. Yeah. It's Thank like you. aqua blue. It's beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. Julie picked out these prosthetic eyes herself after losing her sight to diabetes several years ago. Now she relies on her father, Howard, to get around. She don't have much of a life, so every time I can take her somewhere, that's just something for her to do. Since Sesser passed its low-speed vehicle ordinance two years ago, Howard and Julie spend the summer months riding around on a golf cart like this one. Riding around on the side streets or maybe go to a ball game. She couldn't get out. She don't walk too good. So with a cart, we can go visit people that sit in the yard. We just pull up in the yard and sit on a cart and talk to them. In fact, I begged Dad to take me home uh, summer nights and stuff. It's not a unique idea. Many communities have been doing this for a long time, but uh, we, we have... Uh, copied what other communities have done. We're very well pleased with the program. Mayor Ned Mitchell says the city does require the carts to be equipped with safety features like signal lights, slow vehicle signs, and... They have to be insured, uh, just like an automobile, at least liability-wise. And Howard says it's not just ideal for people like Julie. I love it. It's great for people like him as well. It's ideal for older people because it, it gives them more freedom you know that like me i can't walk but i can go all over town in the golf cart in franklin county rachel gartner news three